of silly formulas. Let me write down a formula for pi right now. That Professor Adams would probably claim is important. He would dress it up a bit. Pi is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 9. And then he would slip in here plus pi <laughs> plus 10 plus 11 minus 21. Look at that. Oh, a formula for pi. is an apple, <laughs> and it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about this. I'm not going to clutter this debate, if it equals. I'm still shocked that it is a debate, <laughs> with this kind of tomfoolery. <laughs> and now we'll have some brief closing remarks before the vote. We'll start with Professor Adams. First of all, I just want to point out that his rebuttal was a fruit. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. How many times have I told you that sugar will rot your brain? How many times? You don't know how many times, do you? Because that part of your brain containing that information has rotted. And how many times did I tell you, don't come to the debate hyped on caffeine? <laughs> but would you listen? Do you realize what this is going to do to your career? Do you realize what a huge disappointment you are to the members of the Latvian Society of Actuaries <laughs> who put their trust in you and went out on a limb, winning out over the better judgment of all the other organizations at that conclave in order to secure you the opportunity to participate in this debate? Do you realize that they're watching right now through our live internet feed and they're crying? <laughs> yes, they're crying all over <coughs> Latvia right now. And do you realize that everyone in this room, all of the amazingly talented students, the faculty and the parents here will forever lose respect for you. They will return your book to the publisher and demand a refund. The publisher will demand that you repay your advance, and you'll have to sell your soda just to afford groceries. I think everyone here can see the damaging influence of the pernicious number E. Don't let what has happened to him happen to you. <laughs> Make the right choice. Thank you. at home with your family when your children aren't at college doing math problems. We <laughs> talked about this in my class yesterday. Most people were nodding. Uh, my family does this all the time. But there's a real lack in our society, and that's math as a spectator sport. And most of us, I know, all dream of the time when we gather with our families, not in some academic hall, but in maybe an arena, maybe a coliseum. Maybe with 60, 80, maybe 100,000 people cheering fans for mathematics. When you have the entire audience going, who that there? Who that there? Who that there? When you have people commentating as, oh, she's going to the board. All right, she's writing out proof. Okay, okay. Oh, she, oh, it looks like a proof by contradiction. We haven't seen a proof by contradiction since the 2023 Olympics, and I know. Oh my God, she's going to do it. Roaring blaze excitement. We just see you Give me an M. M. Give me an A. a. Give me a T. G. Give me an H. What is the spell? Yeah. Woo. We have people going out there yelling, "Give me an E." e. What is that spell? E. <laughs> Finally, when the whole stadium rises and starts chanting. 
na 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 hey hey pie goodbye na 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 hey hey pie goodbye Okay, well, now it's come to you. And you must decide, you must vote, <coughs> but only once. We'll do this by a voice vote. So I will ask for those of you to be in favor of pi to, to announce that, and then I will ask for, for E. Are you ready? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Are you ready now? Okay. All those? Who prefer pi, please acknowledge that by saying pi. Pi! All those who prefer E, please acknowledge that by saying E. E! <laughs> I think the E has it. <laughs> let's congratulate, let's congratulate both Professor Morgan and Professor Morgan. <laughs> Sitting over there, Professor Adams and Professor Garrity. Give them a hand. Hold on. Thank you very much. Good job. Amazing. <laughs>